Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out what's going on here with me. Um, this video is my project pan that I created to help me declutter my life just a little bit more, um, to help me keep some consistent progress even when life's getting a little bit crazy as it has been. Um, I know a lot of you guys struggle when you get down to that last little bit of product and suddenly you just don't want to use it anymore because you're like saving it for something. I, I don't know. You just want to hold on to that little bit of it. Uh, but basically it ends up just sitting there way past its usefulness that's a problem for me and I created this project to help me solve it. Um, so this project was about getting the clutter out. Uh, every month or two I picked four products I'm pretty sure that I could use or finish off in a month's time and I set that goal. Oh well and I also picked one more product to try out and make a decision whether I should try it and keep it or just pass it along. However my last update was in August. It's been about three months and I'm going to make this the finale of this project uh, for the time being. A place where I am just making one decision uh, of, of, for my life at a time right now and my channel as well is included in that and I just feel like that I should put this project down for a little while. And if there's a point in the future that I want to get back into it, I will, but for right now we're going to put this one down. So we're going to finale it out here and here we go. First product is Sol de Janeiro dry shampoo. This one is still in here in this project. Why? I don't know. I, it was in here for several updates. I kept just leaving it in here one more time. I don't like it. And, and I tried to use it as like a hair fragrance, but then I would forget about it. But it's oily. It has oil in it. And... <laughs> It's total opposite of what you want a dry shampoo to do and I have fine hair and my hair does not like oil and my face and skin do not like oils. It caused me to break out so it's just not for me. There's nothing in here. I love the scent of it but that's it and I mean there's like 95% done. Like there's this tiny 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 bit left. I'm going to consider this done. I'm actually going to put it in my empties but just so we're honest um, there is a little bit left in here and it's got to go. I can't tolerate it. Um, replica bubble bath sample. I have been digging replica this year. Uh, my favorites are by the fireplace and jazz club. Just super, super smoky. I really used to love the, um, they've discontinued it now. The Mary Kate and Ashley, uh, Nirvana, uh, bourbon, I think was the one in the brown bottle. I love that stuff. I have just a tiny bit left and I'm kind of savoring it. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's a pattern, but I, um, I like bubble bath. I thought the sample was nice. There's one little note in here that smells slightly off on me. I still probably wouldn't mind to have like a, a deluxe sample of this or something because there's something about it I do really enjoy. So there's a note I kind of don't love and then one I do love, but regardless, this is out and done and that's exciting. The next product, I, I went through my inventory and I looked to see what my biggest category was and it's skincare. Skincare. I have 90 skincare items. 90. Um, my goal is to be at about 45, so I have twice as much, uh, more than I, I think that I could use in a reasonable amount of time. That's the problem. It's not about like the actual number. It's that when I get to those higher numbers like that, I know that I'm going to end up decluttering things because they're not any good anymore. Anyways, I, I tried to pick something that I could realistically use in a month's time, which was these eye patches, but then, you know, three months later, I have managed to completely forget about them. I did not use them, and here they are. Christmas is a good time for this, I feel like, because it's one of those times during the holidays you're trying to look really cute, but yet you feel bloated and tired. So I will use these. I just need to put them somewhere where I remember to do that. And do, 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 do. the next product was a makeup item, and this was a long shot. I didn't think there was any way possible I was going to be able to finish it. Uh, to be clear, I was only focusing on the peach shade there, um, but I did want to try to challenge myself to finish it up because I, I want to finish this peach bronzer and then take it out and kind of do some uh, frankening, some mixing it up a little bit. I love this shade though. Like I love it. It's my favorite. Obviously I've really just used it naturally up until just recently I was trying to finish it. But 
I, I'm surprised at how successful I was, especially because I had this like cystic acne bump in my um, highlight area and I couldn't even use it for like over a month. I, I wasn't even able to use it. So I'm surprised how much progress I actually did make. I hope to finish this out by the end of the year. I am working on it again. It just won't be in this project, but that's okay. Um, looking forward to finishing that off. And lastly, I, I used to, my goal was always to find something to declutter. I just really, like, being in declutter mode isn't really, I just haven't been there this year. I think with um, everything just filling the way it, I just have not been really in declutter mode in this past year. Um, <clears throat> and that's okay. Sometimes we, we just feel differently about things. So what I wanted to do was I took a picture of this palette. I wanted to franken this bronzer right here because it is dark. Um, and I can use it in the summer and I have lotion on my hands, so that really just stuck. <laughs> um, but it is really, really dark. Um, so I wanted to franken it, try to find a way to make a lighter shade. However, I made this middle shade. Um, I did a video on it, so it'll be up one day, maybe. But I made this lighter shade, but it's not drying. Um, and I think I know why, but you might have, if you're, if you're really interested, I don't want to like even swatch it or touch it right now because I just want to give it another day to dry. Um, but I think I know why. So if you're interested in see how this one turns out, you can watch that video when it comes up in a week or so, two weeks. <clears throat> um, anyways, so yeah, there's that. I, so I did hit my goal. My goal was only to Franken this. That was the only goal I had was to actually try to do something with it because this palette is super duper old, almost done. Like if I ruin it, it's fine. I wasn't... I am really not that sad if I if I accidentally ruin it there. All right, guys. So because um, this is a finale, I did want to tally up the amount of products that I used up in this project as a total for this year. I ended up using nine products this year. Um, and let's be honest, that's certainly a reflection of my ability to keep up with project painting this year. It has been non-existent. I have just not been able to do it. And, you know, I, I don't know. I don't understand what's going on and that's okay. I guess it's not meant for me to understand. Try as I might, I'm not able to, to get there. Um, last year I had around 30 items from this project to finish. So for comparison, last year I had 30, this year I had nine. Um, and that's okay. That's one of the factors that's really kind of helping me decide to break from things a little bit and quit trying to keep up with just everything and just let it go. Uh, so for this time, this project is just going to be done and I hope to continue and close out a couple more of my projects and get finales up and then I'm going to start figuring out after I, you know, after that I don't have hopefully a little bit of space there and I can start figuring out how I want to move forward. And yeah, thank you guys all for sticking with me through throughout the year and throughout the years, you know, prior. I, this is, I've been in this community a long time and I, I really appreciate you guys. And I have been trying to get around to your channels and say hi. I genuinely I genuinely miss you all. So I will see you all again soon. Thanks so much again. Bye.